Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. Today I'll be showing you how I make my pina colada um, popcorn. It has pineapple chunks in there and it has dried um, cherries. The pineapples are dried pineapple as well with some coconut flakes. Um, the containers are empty of course because like I said I just finished baking them. I am rushing to get these orders done. Um, but I will be showing you how I make my popcorn. It is very easy. And if you haven't watched how I make my strawberry crunch and my banana pudding, please check down the description box so you can see how I make my other flavor popcorn. So let's get started. Okay, supplies that you are going to need. Two bags of uh, popcorn. I get these popcorn from Dollar Tree. They are the Brims brand. So two bags of popcorn. Uh, some light corn syrup. I use the Caro brand. You are going to need some sugar, pineapple jello packet, almond extract. Some yellow color. This is the Wilton gel color, lemon yellow. Pina colada flavor. I get this from Amazon. Always check my Amazon store link down below. Some containers. I got this from Dollar Tree. Whatever containers you want to put your popcorn in. So I sometimes use containers. I sometimes use cone bags. These are the 6 by 12, 100. You get from a quantity of 100, you get it from Amazon. Um, I get these bags from papermart.com, and that is the size. And I know some stores carry these comb bags, um, either Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, or whatever. So any bag that you want, it's all a preference. How do you want to package your popcorn? Um... I'm also using some almond bark. You can find, you could use any chocolate of your choice as well. If you like candy melt, if you like the Merkins chocolate, um, any chocolate you want. I am using almond bark. I am using dried pineapples. I am using coconut flakes. I'm also using dried cherries. I'm actually gonna put two bags of pineapple, or dried pineapples. You need somewhere to bake your popcorn. I'm using two aluminum pans. And you are going to need somewhere to mix all your popcorn. This is just a plastic container I got from Walmart. You need something big enough to stir everything up. So now, let's get started on doing your mixture. Okay, in our pot, we are going to put two cups of sugar. One cup of Cairo syrup. So two cups sugar, one cup of this. One fourth stick of butter. Now one and one fourth, just one fourth. And I forgot to tell you, I have my heat on low heat. A little bit of your yellow color. You're going to stir a little bit and you only stir this until your butter melts. You do not need to cook this, it's only until your butter melts.
we're going to add a little bit of the almond extract just a little bit not a lot and keep stirring it you want is your butter to melt once your butter is almost all melted you are going to add your pina colada your entire bottle and turn off the heat and then stir all this in there and then the mixture is done and now we are going to put this around your um, popcorn so we can bake it. In your container, we're going to add both bags of popcorn. We are going to sprinkle half a pack of your pineapple gelatin um, mix. Only half. The other half is when it um, comes out of the baking. When we bake for 30 minutes. I'm sorry. Guys, it's too early. I've been up so early trying to get this orders done. So again, only half. And then stir it up. And now all you have to do is put in your mixture a little bit at a time and stir it. This smells so good. You're going to try to cover almost all your popcorn. You're not going to be able to cover everything, but once you're baking and the uh, mixture keeps melting into the popcorn, you're able more. You're able to mix everything more together. So once all this is mixed, I am going to put it on my baking pans. Okay, I have them both on the baking sheets. Now I am going to bake at 250 for 30 minutes. Every 10 minutes, I'm going to take it out and stir it. If at 30 minutes my popcorn is still not crunchy, I am going to bake for 10 more minutes. So that will be uh, altogether 40. But for now, it's only 30 minutes. So again, my oven is on 250. Okay, first uh, 10 minutes are up. So just stir it really good. your popcorn from the bottom to the top and then we are going to bake for 10 more minutes and then we're going to take it out and then you know uh, keep the process going so a total of 30 minutes okay 20 minutes is up and guys my house is smelling like pina colada it smells so good Again, bring the bottom to the top. You're already hearing the crunch on it. And this is just 20 minutes. And now we're going to bake for an extra 10 minutes and that'll be 30 minutes. If I still don't like how crunchy it sounds, I will bake for 10 more. Let's go bake one more time. 
Okay, so I forgot to record the 30 minute mark. Actually, this is the 40 minute mark. I baked it for an extra 10 minutes, so they've been baking for 40 minutes. Every 10 minutes, I took it out. I forgot to record the 30 minutes because I am currently doing the stickers for the bags because I have to ship this today. But um, yeah, so after 40 minutes now, I baked and now I'm going to place them in the freezer for at least two minutes. Um, you can leave yours out, but I usually just put mine in the freezer to speed the process up. So, again, you can leave yours out or put them in the freezer. I am going to put mine in the freezer. And, like, for maybe two to five minutes, and then I'll be right back. We are out the oven, and I mean, sorry, the freezer, and I'm going to dump it in the container. After you dump it in your container, you're going to put your other half a packet of the pineapple jello mix. They're all this very good. You're going to add your dried pineapples. You're going to add your dry cherries. You are going to add coconut flakes. All that I'm adding is all up to you how much you want to add. And now remember almond bark at the beginning, you have to melt your almond bark in the microwave 30, uh, 30 seconds, you stir it, then 30 seconds, you stir it, every 30 seconds you take it out and stir it, and you do not need to add nothing to your almond bark, no coconut oil, no um, vegetable oil, nothing. It gets really thin. Now I'm going to drizzle a little bit at a time in the popcorn. The only reason why I drizzle pop, um, chocolate in all my popcorn is to adhere everything that I added to my popcorn. So the pineapple mix that I just put in there, the coconut flakes, the pineapples, all that. I want everything to adhere to my popcorn. So I will just drizzle. Do not just pour the chocolate, a lot of chocolate all over your popcorn because you're going to make your popcorn soggy.
Okay, from here, you are ready to package your popcorn. If you're going to add in some canisters, some cone bags, it's all up to you uh, where you want to put your popcorn in. So I am going to speed this process up. I'm going to package some up. everyone i am done packaging up the pina colada popcorn these are the cone bags i put coconut flakes in the bottom to fill in my cone and i tie them with balloon ribbon i like tying mine with balloon ribbon just because i feel like it tightens my bag and it seals it very good i don't like using the twist ties it's up to you how you tie your bags um i got some black bags and canisters i have to get ready to package this pop well ready packaged but i gotta put them in the shipping box i'm getting ready to ship them comment down below if you want to see me um putting the stickers on these popcorn and how i'm going to package them to ship them um if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up and um share with your family and friends i will highly appreciate it i already did the banana pudding popcorn uh, recipe and the strawberry crunch it'll be listed down below in the description box and I am getting ready to do the cotton candy because I have I had to do four different flavors for some orders. So um, stay tuned. That video is coming up soon. And thank you, thank you guys for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't joined my Facebook um, crafting group, it is called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. And if you would like to order anything from me, you can always email me at andrinascreations at yahoo.com or um, message me on Facebook or Instagram at Andrina's Creations. And guys, I'll see you on my next video. And thank you so much. And I hope everyone has a blessed day. Bye-bye.